Greetings, friends. This is a thunder tube, and I'll tell you a story entitled The Birthday Party Gone Wrong. It started out when I was at home practicing my bass guitar. I wanted to be in a band someday when there was a knock on the door. It was the postman with an invitation to a party at the old haunted house. I decided I'd go, and I got out my special jacket with the silver buttons. I polished the silver buttons because I wanted to look nice. I started to go to the party when it started to rain. And thunder. I got to the haunted house. I was just about to ready to knock on the door when it opened all by itself. It was a very big door, a very big door. I didn't see anyone inside the haunted house, but heard a sound coming from upstairs. It was someone's voice. Help me, it's my birthday and I'm trapped. I went up the stairs. There were a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. Then I heard the voice again. Help! The door is locked! I can't get out! It's my birthday! Luckily, I always carry a saw in my purse. I sawed an opening. And there inside was a little guy tap dancing and playing the bongos. I thought, let's get out of here. Come on. We went to a window. It was kind of stuck and I opened it. We jumped out and ran all the way to my house. There, we started practicing our instruments. I played the guitar and the little guy tap danced and played the bongos. We named our band the Thunder Guys after the time we met at the birthday party in the old haunted house. We can make our own thunder tube. You need a few things, a spring, it's good if they're long and dangly. If you don't have a spring, you might be able to find one on a spiral notebook. If it's an old notebook, you can rip out the paper and save the spring. Then you need a tube. Here are some cardboard tubes, and I'll see that they kind of make a sound. If you don't have a cardboard tube, we can use a tin can. This is open on one end, and I think this will make a good sound. I'll give it a try. Or here's a tube that's open on one side. Or here's a tube, whoops, I have to empty the beans out of this. I guess I need a can opener. This might make a different sound than the cardboard, but we'll give it a try. I need to make a hole in the middle of the can so I can insert the spring. I'm going to hammer a nail. If you don't have a hammer and a nail, you could use something sharp like an old ballpoint pen and maybe a rock to hammer it in. When I hammer a nail, I like to use a clothespin so I don't hammer my finger. Here is the spring from a spiral notebook. I pulled it out so it'd be a little longer. And this was easy to just straighten a little bit. Straighten the end so I could stick it right through this tin can. Now I'm going to just glue it a little bit so it will stay in place. 
you can make your own story up with your thunder tube. Or if you have a friend around, you could play a storytelling game. Let's see, Mr. Chesterfield, do you wanna be in the video? No, you don't have to be that close. We'll sit back here. Okay, I'll start a story, then you say the next part, then I'll, so, so we'll go back and forth, okay? Okay, so, mm. once upon a time, I wanted to play outside. But it was raining and thundering. I couldn't go outside. Okay, now your turn. Okay. I waited a little bit, and then it was just sprinkling. I thought I could go outside. So I played on the trampoline, but I jumped too high. Okay, now it's your turn. And I fell off the trampoline. That was good. Okay, so now you get the idea of how to play a game with your thunder tube. So I hope you have fun. Do you want to play it again?